After a wild and windy few days, things should be calming down at least a bit. Seven First Alert meteorologist Michelle McLeod, as always, tracking your forecast. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Jeff. Yes, they'll calm down tomorrow. We're still dealing with the winds now, though, and you can see that on our Skywatch Almanac there. Even though it's high up top of the one Seneca Tower, you can see that it's bouncing and that bounce is translating to the ground. It's pretty gusty out there. I was driving on the Skyway earlier and I definitely could feel that. Temperatures wise, well, we're still above normal. 38 is where we're supposed to be. 48 is where we came in and the overnight lows pretty much above normal as well. Well, still sticking with that too. All 40s across the map. But when you factor in those winds, those 40s start to feel like 30s. So days like today where you see lots of sunshine, I like to say that that sunshine's more for decoration because it's not really doing much to keep us warm. We're taking a wide view of seven super Doppler high pressures in the mix. We are rain free for at least a little bit. I'll show you what that looks like in the seven day. Let's get to the future cast. I'm fast forwarding through a lot of pause points here because things are going to be dry for your Tuesday. We do have some clouds in there. We'll get some breaks of sunshine as well. But the big story for Tuesday is that we're remaining rain free tonight partly cloudy and chilly and breezy as well we're still dealing with that i got a pair of threes for you it's going to feel quite chilly but then you go into tomorrow not too bad the winds finally wind down so we can enjoy this 44 however you won't see as much sunshine as we saw today going into the rest of that seven day let's get it there wednesday it's going to be breezy and those temperatures will be in the 50s. Now here's the thing with Wednesday. Your rain showers are gonna come later on in the day. So you're seeing in the afternoon, they're right across Lake Erie and the second half of that day, that's when you're seeing those rain showers and they're spotty in nature. These are intermittent showers. They're not widespread showers and it's certainly not a washout. Now Thursday, it is going to get quite gusty. And you know what that means. Whenever we see gusty winds, what do I gotta do? I gotta bring out that trash can. Let's toss it and see where it goes. It's going to go nearby, and here's why. Because you're seeing those wind gusts in the morning at 30, and as you head towards the evening, it'll be towards 40 miles an hour. So it'll be quite breezy and gusty with those totes tipped over, but it's not going to be damaging. I don't want to scare you. I just want to prepare you. We're not looking at anything like what we just saw Saturday. Now, as you go into the rest of that seven day, we go from 60 to 40 and coast into the 30s as you head into the weekend. Something for everyone in this seven day.